What's going on everybody? Dylan here with Espresso Outlet and today's video is going to be about how to change your grind setting on the Turin H40 hand grinder. So today we're going to be showing you exactly how I go ahead and switch between espresso and pour over. On here, I don't know if you guys can see but I'll give you a little closer, there is some dots right there in the middle. So what you're going to do is, um, there was a slight misprint on the package. So Clockwise, you're going coarse, when in reality, if you go clockwise, you're actually going finer, and counterclockwise, you're going coarser. So just keep that to note uh, when you are adjusting for your grind setting. So uh, right now, this is what it's gonna look like for the most part out of the box, where you're not gonna see hardly any of these uh, dial markers indications here. So as you turn it clockwise, you'll start to see more and more dots start to appear. So the more dots you see, the finer it goes. So I'll bring it all the way up, just so you can see. So right there is all the way up. And as you notice, there are quite a bit of dots right there in the center. So the more dots that are showing, the finer the grind setting is. We're gonna go from the finest setting and come down about here. So I usually do about a couple of turns rotations uh, to go a little bit coarser to so that is where I'm usually starting my grind setting at uh, when I start for espresso. So I'm going to go ahead and dose out 10 grams. Doesn't have to be a ton. Um, just going to be using some Good Brothers coffee here. So it doesn't have to be perfect. 10.6 grams is fine. Um, just so I can show you guys how long. So I always recommend when you are changing grind setting that you just move this a couple times. Make sure that in between after you get done with a, either if you're doing espresso or a pour over that you do rotate that fully to make sure there is no beans that are caught in between the burrs because a lot of times what happens with any hand grinder, any grinder in general, uh, when you go to adjust the mechanism, whether it's going finer or coarser, while there are still grinds in the burrs, uh, you're going to notice that it will jam up. The beans are lodged in between the burrs, so it's going to be hard, almost impossible to move um, if there are still big chunks in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that 10.6 grams in. Make sure to spin that all the way so it's tight. And I'm going to go ahead and time how long it takes to uh, grind about 10.6 grams here. So start the timer here. We're not going to go super fast. I want to make it more realistic. Now you can go really fast or really slow. I feel like this is a pretty good normal pace though. Uh, this is the grind setting that I use for espresso with the H40 grinder. Uh, definitely leave in the comments below what setting you use for espresso with this hand grinder. So like I said, I'm just going nice, easy pace. So that was exactly 30 seconds. If you're gonna do a dose of espresso, probably about 45 seconds to a minute long to grind espresso, which is not that bad, especially if you're gonna be doing it with a hand grinder. All right, so let me go ahead and get these all Ready? I'm going to go ahead and pour this on the table. Just so you can see. All right, so here are the grinds for espresso. This is going to be about the perfect range for espresso. Let's say I pull a shot of espresso using this grind. What I will do now is very important. So I always try to like knock the side of it just to release any of the grounds. And then I'll always start grinding a little bit more. And then I'll move coarser now. So the coarser I move, when I move a couple adjustments, I'll go through, a couple turns, rotate through, a couple turns, rotate through, a couple turns, rotate through. So again, that is going coarser. Um, just so I ensure that I don't get any fines from the espresso when I do my pour over now and I don't actually stall the grinder because there's a bean that's lodged in between the two burrs. Um, that's just the kind of method that I do. I'm going to show you how many grinds actually get trapped when doing so. 
So it's not even registering a gram. You can see just how important it is to do the, that process when you are adjusting your grinding size with a hand grinder because that's how many grams were still left inside of the unit uh, when going from fine to a coarser setting. If you're doing pour over, you just got done with your shot of espresso. A lot of people will say that there are a lot of fines when going from pour over to espresso or vice versa. And that's because there's actually quite a bit that is still lodged inside of the grinder. So now that we have it completely clean, let me just go ahead and empty that on the table. Set, reset our timer. Go ahead and add our, I'll just keep it consistent. 10.6 grams. All right, so that took about 22 seconds, so about 44 seconds for your pour over. All right, so here is a look of the grinds. So quite a bit coarser here as opposed to your espresso. But with this hand grinder, it's definitely capable of uh, doing both. So as you see, the quality of um, a coarse grind and of a fine grind. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is how I go from grinding a fine setting to a coarse setting. And you would just follow the same steps going from a coarse setting to a fine setting. So this is the Turin H40 hand grinder. And this is how you would switch between grind size, between fine and coarse settings. So I hope this video helps you and I hope you guys continue brewing great coffee with this hand grinder. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe as we are trying to grow Espresso Outlet uh, for all of the informational videos that we are giving to all of you out there. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.